Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. What's up, everybody? Here we are. Make some fucking noise. Live on a Monday night. Home yes. sweet home. Brian Redband. Hi, here, everybody. everybody. Hey. We are live back home after a fun weekend of sold out shows in beautiful Washington, D.C. and uh, wonderful New York City last night. Our third sold out show this year at the Gramercy Theater. Yes. Unbelievable. So much fun. And... Uh, we have the great Ryan J. Ebelt here tonight, the author yeah, right of the there. new Kill Tony book number three and book number two, available on Amazon Prime right now. Get your uh, Kill Tony Christmas gift or Thanksgiving gift, perhaps a birthday late in the year, anything. It's a great present for your, the Kill Tony fan in your life, and it's also a great thing just to buy for your selfish self, you know what I mean? Uh, the road uh, never ends for us. We go to Columbus, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland in the dead center of December, just driving through snowy, snowy freeways, the 71, the 76, Interstate 80. We got we know our way around there. That's where we're from. Yeah. And uh, November 23rd, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, if there's any wrestling fans listening to this podcast, Storcade for the first time ever, a wrestling ring right there a in the middle of this fucking room. Can you believe That's that? Awesome. That's awesome. Fucking wrestling ring with some of the best wrestlers in the world here at the comedy store on a fucking Saturday afternoon. How crazy is that? So, we just got back from uh, New York today. You want to know what I did when I got home? Rested a little bit, laid in bed, took a power nap, and I rested some more. You know what made it easy? I'm laying there and I said, I'm going to treat myself. I've been working like a madman. I'm going to get sushi from my favorite sushi place, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to rest up, and I'm going to use Postmates, yes. and I did. <laughs> I did, too. When you need red wine at 4 p.m., sushi at 9 p.m., a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m., and ibuprofen at 10 a.m., Postmates it. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, what kind of delivery, any kind of delivery you want, service all year round. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the U.S. and offer delivery from all the restaurants, grocery and convenience stores, traditional retailers you could possibly want or need. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Postmates will bring you what you need within the hour. We were just in uh, D.C. and New York, and that's all I did was Postmates. Instead of leaving the hotel and going, Where, where's a good place to eat? I got got some amazing Philly steaks in New York last night. It was amazing. You could download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery in real time. Literally, 20 minutes after I ordered it, a box of sushi at my front door with a, a driver with a smile on his face. And for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code KILLTONY. That's the code KILLTONY for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Download Postmates and save with the code KILLTONY. Wow. There you go. And that's how we do it. You guys ready to start tonight's show or what? Here we are. The number one live podcast in the world on a Monday night. Every single episode, we have two of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. This week's absolutely no different. Truly, two of the funniest humans that I know. Make some noise for them. It's Tim Dillon and Mike Feeney, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. The party starts now. Mike Feeney, welcome. Tim Dillon is Thank back. You. Thank you. We are here. Thank you, sir. Welcome back, Tim. Thank oh, you. Well. Welcome back as well to you. <laughs> Thank you. You're an integral part of this show. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Indeed. Mike. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. This is Mike's first time on Kill Tony, everybody. Yeah. Fresh from New York. Ate lunch next to Justin Bieber today. His debut album, Rage Against the Routine, is out now, available everywhere. He's the host of the Irish Goodbye podcast with Mike Cannon, available on Gas Digital. Tim Dillon's in Fort Worth this weekend. Of course, the host of the yeah. hugely popular V. Tim Dillon show. I did not have lunch with Justin Bieber today. You I did. think if Justin Bieber saw me in a restaurant, he'd have me removed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that, I don't know that suspicious. for a fact, but I, I imagine he would not be comfortable. Well, why have lunch next to Justin Bieber when you can Postmates? Postmates. Go to yeah. Postmates, use the promo code <laughs> KillTony, get $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. That's uh, yeah. Kill Tony, all one word, right. Postmates. Uh, well, made it and spent time with drug addicts. You know, 
That's it. Yeah. Exactly. So you guys uh, know the deal. I don't know if you know this, though, Mike, since it's your first time on the show, but there is a band on this show. You guys like bands at all? How many of you, how many of you out there are fans of the show and know where you're at right now? Okay, good. The band is an integral part of the show. We absolutely love them. Every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never have any idea beforehand what they're going to be. Maybe it's the return of some of the famous characters that we've seen before on the show. Maybe it's brand new characters making their debut. They stay in character throughout the show. Let's see what happens tonight. Make some noise for the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Chroma Chris, and Joelberg Joel Jimenez. Here we go. Let's see what they are tonight. Let's find out all together, all at the same time right now. It's happening now. I'm sure they're, they're invisible. coming out right now because they're professional. Come on, maybe if you guys make some more noise, the band will yeah. come out. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. We've seen these young ladies before. The Southern Bells are back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Look at this rugged at this. one. <laughs> wow. Shoeless Jeremiah Watkins. Uh, whoa, look at that. Southern Bells, indeed. Uh, we've seen them before. They were live in Seattle, Washington. Yeah. and Amazing to see you again. Remind me, uh, sweet, sweet. Oh, wow, a little stumbling there from... Uh, <laughs> Your guitar player. Remind me of what your name is there, Southern Bell. Oh, my name is Annabelle, and I'm so, so sorry. I apologize for us being late. We were putting our faces on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Indeed. Looks like you still had some more work to do. Uh, it's like we really rushed you. And then uh, who's that uh, sweet piece of apple pie next to you there? Mm, my name is Isabel, Tony. <laughs> Isabel, okay. Yes, sir. I, I think I'm sensing... <laughs> I think I'm sensing a theme over here. That must mean that this back here is uh, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I was originally going to guess the bloated corpse of John Benet Ramsey, but... Uh, oh. I'll you make you run for the border, Tony. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at ding you. Ding dong. <laughs> ding dong, indeed. We've seen enough of your ding dong lately. Uh, so welcome, Taco welcome. Bell, to the episode. So we have Southern Bells with us. We have Tim Dillon. We have Mike Feeney. We have Brian's Crazy Soundboard, which brings me to this, the Bucket of Destiny, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it works. You know what happens. On this show, a bunch of people before the show sign up. Maybe it's an audience member who's a fan that's been preparing for years for this opportunity. Maybe it's a veteran comedian that's been doing it 10 years and is here to showcase their skills and get discovered at the world famous comedy store. Could be any shape or size of anyone. The point is they get 60 seconds uninterrupted, and then we talk to them about their lives afterwards, maybe find out more interesting stuff about them. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or she's going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. That's it. You guys ready to start this motherfucker or what? We're live from the comedy store on the Sunset Strip for episode 400 and something of Kill Tony. My goodness gracious. You can feel the tension in the air. Look at, look at beat up. This is Col like, look at you look like Daenerys Targaryen if she was a Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, she does. I, pulled I don't it. like anything south of the wall. <laughs> Woo! All that. right. Pull the name out of the bucket, and the show will begin with the comedy stylings of Shayna Rabani. Rabani. Shayna Rabani. Here we go. Shayna. I you think that's him right there. Feel like a of a woman. Is that Shayna walking towards the stage? Heck yeah. Oh, okay. There she is. Pure momentum. Heck yeah. Absolutely. You make me feel like a angel of a woman. One more time for Shayna Rabini. Begin. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you all doing? Uh, whoa. Okay. I actually don't care. Um, <laughs> I recently started seeing someone. Yeah, a therapist. Yeah, a massage therapist who doubles as my counselor. Anyone will do anything if you pay them enough. She wrote that joke. <laughs> 
I recently gave my dog some CBD, and now he's hooked, so I gotta take him to counseling. It's cool, we see the same counselor, and he pays half my copay. <laughs> it works out. I was recently in Ohio. I learned never say that I'm Jewish on stage. They don't like it. Um, <laughs> do you know my dad could buy this place? <laughs> <laughs> like I could just call him and then we'd get you kicked out and while I was at it I would make myself headliner <laughs> hell yeah Shayna Rabini 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 Shayna stay right there Put the, grab that mic yeah this is the part of the show where uh, we talk with you about uh, about your life and about exactly what the fuck just happened up here <laughs> <laughs> but first let's check Wait, in with the I lovely Annabelle honey all of our fathers could buy this place <laughs> <laughs> he's a so- these are rich southern women uh, Shayna are you sure it was your religion that the uh, Ohio crowd had an issue with <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> you're right I'm not sure <laughs> might have been I ask them, though. I do ask them after. What does your dad do for a living? Do you want to guess? No. Investments? Yeah, take care of you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Nice. What, what's the actual answer? He's investments. Property. That's oh. right. Property. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. I don't think do that's the right... Uh, I don't think that's the right race, though. What ethnicity are you? Do you want to guess? Why? No, we are not going <laughs> to fucking guess. Yeah. Answer the questions. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Are, you're, are you you're Sephardic? Bad, you're you look like maybe interviews. Sephardic Jewish, like... No, okay. so I'm Mexican, uh-huh. Persian, right? Jewish. You're That's Jewish, exactly Mexican, Persian. Say. That's exactly what you're. That is say. fucking L.A. in one for that? person. <laughs> Are you yeah. also Armenian? Because that's that's the whole fucking bag right yeah. there. No, but I'm Jeez. from o- I'm from Ohio. What okay, part, what well, part that's of Ohio? Shitty. Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Oh. How well, long I'm from have you lived Toledo, out? but I've been in Columbus for the past. Bexley. Oh, okay. So. Okay. And shit. what army surplus goodwill did you get that dress out of, honey? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. In L.A. <laughs> how long have you lived in Los Angeles, Shayna? I've been living here for three years. Three years. And how long have you been uh, attempting stand-up comedy? <laughs> Six months. Six months. Hell, yeah. You're taking notes. Yep, yep. Like you should probably therapy. do the same thing uh, <laughs> at some point. At any point in the six months that you've been doing this. I would have brought my notes. I had no idea. <laughs> you wow. were good. You seemed a little, like, a little nervous. Yeah, you, you absolutely. Were new. You had Do you jokes. Ever, does that ever stop? It when does. It does. It does. Okay. Yeah. So stop. was the last, with the Jewish father thing, was that just like a threat because you weren't going well? Or was that going to be a joke at some point? Yeah. No, what's weird is like <laughs> most of my jokes lead into longer sets. Like a minute, that's hard. Like. Wait a minute, what's a longer set hard. there? You just you start breaking down your dad's tax returns? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. You're like, all right, you poor pigs in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what appreciated and what depreciated. Okay? Roth IRA. Ever heard of it? Sorry you live in a deindustrialized hell. Do you have a job, Shana? What do you do for work? Nope. What? Um, I do she not. devotes all her time to comedy. Yeah, I do. I, I really do. Is that really true? Yes. Oh boy! <laughs> wow. And and I should work a little harder. Dad, uh, dad pays all your bills. Well, when I was in law school, dad did. Right. <laughs> oh, so you're a fucking lawyer? No, 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 I was gonna go to law school. But oh. I, when I decided not to, he stopped paying. Oh, because you said you were in law school. Right. Like when I was going, <laughs> when I was going to be in law school, but oh. then when I decided not to do that. How long was the period stopped. you were going to be in law school? Did you get in? The summer. <laughs> I was waitlisted. <laughs> and then okay. what, what? So what happened? Um, I was like, I want to do comedy instead. <laughs> wow. What made you want to do this? You know. Did, did someone tell you that you're funny? Nope. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I mean, how could they have that possibly? That never happened. <laughs> nope. The, the quite the opposite. What made you want to do this? What made me want to do this? Was uh, there a special or something yeah, you saw? No, you, was, were on, you were watching Netflix one day, and then you no. saw something. Or? Schumer. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I turned 25. I had to uh, pay for my own insurance. And you said this was cheaper. stand-up comedy is how I'm going to pay for insurance. Cheaper than therapy. No. <laughs> I so, can get on stage and talk about problems. Oh, oh. So you, you don't, oh, so you switched therapy for this. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that always ends well. Shout out yeah. to Brody Stevens. Why would Stevens. you do this? Uh, 
Shout out to our good friend Brody and Robin Williams and uh, all the greats. Relax. Uh, they were funny. <laughs> Come on. Wake up, audience. This is gold. Damn right. It's a real sleepy audience out there. There we go. So you, when you went to law school, dad was paying the bills. And now he's not paying the bills. So how do you survive? Um, okay. <laughs> okay, we get the that's part. a great question. She's definitely more Persian. What do you Jewish. live in LA? Do you live in like one of those tents or? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, it's actually I moved to I'm, I've been living in Columbus for the past few months. Uh huh. And okay, it's so a little you're, bit cheaper there. Excuse me, Columbus, where? Ohio. Okay, so you're you're lying. No, no, no. <laughs> it's very confusing. It is confusing to people here with ears. For about for about. <laughs> <laughs> This is a Netflix this. documentary. This isn't a question and answer. Um, I was living here for three years. Yes, and then I Daddy s- said, no, no. Yeah, he was like, you know, you, uh, you have some choices. You can okay. start working for the family. You what part of Columbus and what, what, what's the business? What part of Columbus do you live in? <laughs> Red Band. Okay. So um, I live. Red Band wants to get a job in Ohio. Like, like street? He's what? like, does the like family need people? Where? Well, like right by campus. Like right where you're asking me what street? Yeah. Like right off high yep, school. that's where campus is, Brian. Yep. So your parents aren't that rich if they live on campus. No, my <laughs> parents live here. Oh. Yeah. So why? What made you move to Columbus, Ohio? Uh, I, <laughs> your parents banished you. N- yes, <laughs> they banished me. I was dating somebody for a while out there, uh-huh. and I was like, okay, I'm gonna come visit and you. You were dating. You were in LA, and you decided to date a guy from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> so for what free vapes? So every choice you've ever made's been terrible. That's what you're. <laughs> it's true. I think we're finding this out. I'm hoping that matters. people, even if they don't laugh at my comedy, they'll be able to laugh at my life choices, right? That's well, you should talk about this shit on stage, and that would be comedy. I do. Do you really think your father could buy this place? If you had to guess your father's net worth, round about uh, a pl- plus or minus ten million, what would you guess? <laughs> Uh, his net worth? Yeah, sure. Oh, God, I, you are bad at questions. Yeah, huh? I'm bad at math. No, no, no. I could never guess that. I what are you good I at? Zero what idea. are you good at in this world? Not Do being likable. Any special skills or talents, <laughs> or you can like juggle or something like no. that. No, I can speak a few languages. I, what languages do you speak? I can't. I can't. <laughs> Spanish. Wow. So you're basic English. in three languages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to save you up here, Shayna. We're trying right. to we're trying to help you. But they told me, they warned me. They're like, you know, they're not. They're gonna like roast. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's kind of like mean up there. I was like, whoa, whoa. I well, thought not, this not, was like not supported. for everybody. Not <laughs> for everybody, Shayna. It just depends on uh, how everything goes. It, gotcha. I'm still qu- curious about your dad's net worth. Plus or minus ten million. There's no way you could get this wrong. How rich okay. do you think your dad is? Ten million. 80 million, 300 million. There has to be a ballpark here. I have no idea. Okay, well, then he definitely can't buy this place. <laughs> Just to make sure that that's a known thing. Just so that nobody ever says that dumb shit again. <laughs> this is a goddamn historical landmark with a century of history riding through it. You're so. right. I just it don't does, like it. That I just joke don't, does I just, better when was, I'm in Ohio. It was so. It was. It was. It wasn't Jewish of you. It was so Persian of you to say something <laughs> like that. My ethnicities—they fight with each other. It's an internal battle, like all day long. Of course. I <laughs> well, uh, Shayna, uh, this is going to toughen you up for sure. I guarantee you, you, you're funnier you. after tonight, 100. percent Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Good one luck. More, one more time for Shayna Rabini, everybody. There she goes. You make me. You make me feel like a special of a woman, woman, yeah. Ohio is not that bad also, guys. It's December 12th, we're in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, <laughs> right down the street from her. And then uh, two days later in Pittsburgh and then Cleveland. Tickets are moving fast. Good old one-word name. We like one-word names on the show. Always interesting characters. Make some noise for Orlando, everyone. <laughs> Wow, right from the front. Eat me a lot of peaches. Eat me a lot of peaches. Orlando, everyone. All right. Orlando. Thank you. I got a fan. So there's two things I love. The English language and the weird way we spell shit and fucking with people. And I like to combine those two things. For example, I had to call and update my insurance. I was talking to some guy from India, wherever the fuck we're contracting our work out to these days. He's like, absolutely, sir. I could help you with that. Just give me your license plate number. I was like, yeah, sure thing. It's eight. K is in night, G is in net, P is in psychosis, 332. 
I'm so sorry, sir. Can you repeat that? Yeah, sure thing. It's A, K as in me, G as in gnome, P as in mnemonic, 332. <laughs> sir, I am so sorry. Can you repeat that one? Jesus Christ, Rajesh. This is English. Figure it out. It's eight. K as in knuckle, G as in gnarl, P as in pterodactyl, 332. You got it? Uh, yes, sir. I think I got it now. That is uh, eight. K as in kill, G as in gutless, and P as in prick. 332. I was like, settle down, Kumar. And yeah, that's, that's right. That's all I got. Wow, Thank nailed you. the time on that. <laughs> Orlando clearly specializing in timing there. Exactly 60 seconds yeah. worth of a set. Uh, just seems like you were an asshole to that guy on the phone. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of. He had it coming. Yeah, I hope your father is also rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Orlando, you came from the audience. Is this your first time doing comedy? This is my second time. Oh, okay. Very yeah. cool. When did you start? When was the first time? Uh, a few weeks ago at the store in La Jolla. Oh, very cool. How'd that go for you? Not too bad. Yeah? Yeah. I like that you're just doing the best venues in the States. <laughs> That's it, you know. You're like, I'll just, you know. I'm just shooting for the top, really. Yeah, I get That's it. That's right. But this Staples Center next week. This place could, <laughs> this isn't that special of a place that could get bought by some Persian dude. At, I guess right. yeah. <laughs> Whose net worth is mysterious and unknown. Heck yeah. So, Orlando, how old are you? I am 40. Wow, look at that. You got wow. that fucking, uh, that youthful, uh, what, you're Mexican? That's racist. No, I'm Puerto Rican. No, calling really? an Indian guy on the phone <laughs> Kumar is racist, my friend. <laughs> that is a very common Indian name. You son of a bitch. Me guessing that a Mexican-looking guy is Mexican is not racist at all. Yeah, I would have guessed your name is Miami, not Orlando. <laughs> that would have been my... Mike Feeney. That was not that clever. I mean, seriously. I mean, it was better than anything you just said. So. <laughs> oh! Oh! I mean, tell the you. king of clever Orlando judging people now. <laughs> That's what I do. I love it. So you're 40 years old. What do you do for work? I'm an archaeologist, and I moonlight as a Lyft driver. You're really an archaeologist? I really am. Yeah. What do you, Fuck yeah. Where do you do oh. that at? What do you do? I do that in the... Uh, this is the Jurassic Park theme. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good when someone mentions... I'd have preferred the Indiana Jones theme song, but that worked. There you go. Here's a little indie for you then. We have it all queued up. There you go. Indiana Jones. That's the song. That's the best part of the song to play, the first 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, so where do you do archaeology at? I work in the Inyo National Forest, which is on the backside of the Sierra Nevada mountain range just south of Mammoth Mountain. Wow, that's beautiful. You, you find a lot of cool shit out there? A lot of cool shit. A lot of prehistoric Native American artifacts, a lot of early American historics. Wow. Look at that. What's the craziest thing you ever found out there? Uh, we find rock art. We find old arrowheads. Not jokes. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Yeah, there you go. Shoot. Sit shot. down, buddy. It's okay. Wow. <laughs> Look at you guys. Uh, so that's fun. You've been doing that for your whole life? Pretty much out uh, of college? About five years. Oh, okay. What, what were you doing before that? I was in the military. Shout out to all my veterans. In hey, look at that. On Veterans Day. I love that. That's so cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. What branch were you in? Navy. Ah, I see. Did you serve overseas? I was in Guam, so yeah, I was overseas. <laughs> <laughs> what was your answer there? You did serve overseas? I was in Guam, so yeah, that's overseas. He went but to, I wasn't he, in the desert. You know our war in Guam? <laughs> <laughs> Huge problems out there. We had to really stifle. Yes. A lot of ISIS... Uh, Popping up in Guam. Especially out there in the Navy. It yeah. must have been so hard out there just on the beaches of Guam. Yeah. It was rough. I tell you, the snorkeling out there is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you know about no jokes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Orlando, uh, any uh, fun hobbies or what do you do for fun when you're not doing uh, comedy or uh, digging for bones? Uh, yeah. I'm outdoorsy. I like to hike, shit like that. Hike, shit like that. Read. I'm an avid reader, world traveler. What's the last book you read? I read uh, The 14 Lives of Harry something or other. Potter? Not Potter. <laughs> 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 Just a guess. I think Harry's only lived once, as far yeah, as I know. Well, what do I know? When was the last time you sunk your teeth into a juicy peach? Ooh, good Ooh, question. Good question. I don't know, a year? Orlando, face the audience. You're, you're, you're going full my, tilt. My, my, my. <laughs> you have a girlfriend? 
No. Hello there. <laughs> uh -oh. I might after this, though. I'll tell you that. What would you do if you if you had a if you had ten minutes alone with this uh, beautiful Annabelle sitting behind you? Definitely Wh doggy style. Whoa! Look at that. Wow. But somehow you would still be the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Orlando. As long as you're face down in the pillow, you can call me whatever you want. I'll tell you this, man. You're doing it. You know, you enjoy yourself. You have fun up here. You like it. The nerves, the excitement. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I was more nervous than I thought I'd be. Stumbled through uh, that little set, but nah, not too bad. Well, but you're doing it, man. And if you enjoy it, that's what it's all about. Congratulations on getting pulled Thank out of the bucket. Thank you very much. Appreciate go. it. Thank you, everybody. Orlando, everybody. There he goes. Hell yeah. Let's keep moving along. Keep this fun train rolling all night long. Make some noise for your next comedian. He goes by the name of Ryan Joseph. Ryan Joseph. Here we go. Feel this way. My girl, my girl, my girl. Talking about my girl, my girl. One more time for Ryan Joseph, everybody. Uh, in third grade, my teacher caught me cheating, but I swear I was always faithful to her. <laughs> I'm not gonna send dick pics to girls anymore, just women. <laughs> Do you guys remember when we used to uh, take showers with our parents? <laughs> it's such a weird way to learn how to shave. My friend called me this morning. He was like, hey man, I can't stop thinking about those Mexican kids in cages. I was like, yeah, that was a crazy party last night. <laughs> I was molested when I was in summer camp. The guy said he would kill my family if I ever told anyone. So I told someone right away. Wow, look at that. Ryan Joseph. Everybody. Ryan Joseph. That was incredible. Some young lady earlier told me that it was impossible to be funny in a minute. And uh, meanwhile, you found a way to squeeze in eight hard hitting yeah. punchlines in 60 seconds. You saved the show. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Ryan, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, eight months. Wow. wow, look at you. Eight months. Let's check in with Annabelle over there. And how long have you looked like a steamy Confederate war monument? <laughs> <laughs> Here, take a step back. Stand right between Annabelle and Tim Dillon there so we can all see each other here. You, you remind, me, remind me of my sister. Oh, shit. That means he's going to fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> I already know Ryan Joseph's style. I know where you're going with that one, Ryan. I'm ahead of you. I like your brand, dude. So eight months in the game, that's fucking awesome. How old are you, Ryan? Uh, 35. 35. Beautiful age to be right now in this wonderful world. Uh, that's great. And what do you do for work? I'm an instructional designer. Wow, what does that mean? Like, I build courses online. You know, if you ever had to take, like, a... a orientation course at your work you take it on a computer and uh that's what the kind of stuff i build that's awesome yeah. hell yeah that's so great and what made you want to start doing stand-up comedy eight months ago what made you make the switch at 35 i don't know i just started doing it i just woke up and i was doing it <laughs> hey wow look at that <laughs> sounds Jesus. like you're defending yourself in court yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like the, 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 yeah. the, the plot from the movie happening. Big. Did you go to one of those <laughs> Zoltar fortune teller machines yeah. before this or something? Yeah, I was just like, holy shit, I'm uh, doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you suffer from sleepwalking? Is that a problem that you have? <laughs> yeah, I just woke up and I was like, um, I'm going to keep doing this. I don't know why, but I'm going to keep doing it. Wow, I love it. What do you do for fun when you're not uh, doing instructional design or whatever that? that yeah, shit it's is. not fun. Yeah. Um, How about <laughs> hobbies or anything like that? You seem like a guy that likes to fucking uh, wear birthday hats on days when it isn't your birthday. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I really just spent a lot of time writing and uh, going to Mike's. Um, sometimes I'll hang out with my girlfriend. Oh, wow. How long have you two been dating? Yeah, how long have you two been dating? <laughs> We've been... <laughs> We've been uh, dating like 18 months, I think. Wow, you count by the month, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at you, a loyal soldier indeed. Yeah. Where'd you meet her at? I met her in Florida. Orlando? I met... <laughs> it was uh, a classic boy meets girl story <laughs> in, a, in an AA meeting. Oh, look at that. Nice. How long are you sober? Uh, I haven't had a drink in like seven years. Congrats. Mm. Congrats. Seven. Yeah. Do you smoke weed? No, I'm uh, totally, totally clear. So you're, not like, you're not like L.A. sober where you're on ayahuasca right now? <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms no. on the weekends? I'm pretty addicted to just like being totally just clear. And I like, it's like a drug for me almost now just right. to be like. Uh, well, it clear. seems like it is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have a couple friends that got sober and they keep getting more addicted to that feeling of getting clearer and clearer. Like, they'll go no sugar, they'll go keto, yeah. they'll do all these things. To yeah. like and then you go back to heroin. It's like a yeah. real... <laughs> it's a fun circle. Yeah, you fall yeah. hard. What was, the, uh, what was the drug of choice? Was it just alcohol or...? No, nah, it starts when you're, like, smoking weed and then all of a sudden you're snorting oxys off a hooker. It is a gateway drug. Fuck! Yeah. I'm kidding. No, no, I was, um... I got into, like, everything, but at the end, it was just pills. Right. Yeah. Painkillers. Yeah. You were doing a lot. How many? How much money is worth a day of painkillers at your worst? Those pills got expensive, man. They're, like, uh, $20 a pill, but so I never could afford that much. Usually just one or That's two. That's why we need health care. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Does your girlfriend ever go see you perform? Does she come to any of your shows? Yeah, she comes once in a while. She's but a lot of my jokes uh, are about her, mm -hmm. and so she gets kind of weirded out when I talk about it. Hell yeah. How did you talk one? about me all night? <laughs> yeah. And there you go, Annabelle. What's uh, something crazy about you that we'd be shocked to know? A fun fact about Ryan Joseph in your life or your upbringing or anything like that? I uh, used to write erotica. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. My number one bestseller is Sucking Mr. Spencer. Oh, my God. What's, uh, what's like, a highlight if you could give us a couple lines that you remember of that? Uh, There's, of that. It's about, like, a guy that he's, like, in the closet, and his roommate, his womanizer roommate, takes him home for Thanksgiving. And then he, like, wakes up one night, and he goes to the fridge, and he sees, like, Mr. Spencer on the porch smoking a cigar and he goes out there and he and Mr. Spencer could see that he's like really gay inside and he <laughs> and he and he makes him like blow him on the porch while he's smoking a cigar are you writing this right now <laughs> Tony I don't know did you see Tim's body language right now? He sat back and really listened. I was yeah. really enjoying that. I Tim. thought it was going to come to a, a very fun holiday yeah. conclusion. <laughs> it's, my, it's my best seller. Tim yeah, just pulled seller. a cigar and a lighter out of his yeah. pocket. He's, he's, Tim spread his legs. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but they are... It, it gets you going. Where could we find that if we wanted to? I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking as a joke. On Amazon. Okay. Wow. Amazon. And one more time. What's it called? <laughs> Sucking off Mr. Spencer? <laughs> Sucking Mr. Spencer. I wrote a lot of gay erotica. Oh, wow. Because it Did sells the most. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Seems, Girls seems like, read it, too. Heck seems yeah. like you're hiding a pretty significant life issue that he got. I know. <laughs> wow, we wow. found Wow, it. it's got two ratings, four, star, four stars. Yeah, that's, that's, your best, four that's the best That's seller? from his mom and his dad trying to support him. <laughs> Oh my God! Look at this. There's a. Uh, it got some good reviews. Keisha says a very short and hot story. I love older men with younger men. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Only four stars on that one. That was from 2018, July 7, 2015. The letter L said, "I like the older, younger type of relationships." So this hits the spot for me. Solid writing too, and straight to the point. Ha ha. Wish it was longer, though. Oh. Yeah. I, bet <laughs> I bet they you do. do. These gay men always wish it was longer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right, Ryan. Well, I mean, unbelievable set. Fucking perfect interview. Killed Just it. absolutely Killer. great. Killer.
incredible. Oh, wow. Why don't we hear it? Yeah. Hold on one second. My girl. He's on Instagram at Real Ryan Joseph, by the way, all one word. And we were able to actually find there is an audible, there is an audible, uh, audible sample. Island in North Florida that they occupied during the winter. They had a place in North Carolina. This is from the book. Summer. That's what we rich people do. We can afford to control our environment. Anyways, it was a long time. Thank <laughs> myself for going. I much rather would have stayed. In All right, I think we already got the good part. Yes. <laughs> you guys like having fun? You understand how the show works? There you go. That was great. That's the first time we've ever even seen Ryan Joseph. Ryan, you got to come back. Keep signing up. We want to see more of you. Wow. And just like that, the bucket of destiny uh, never really disappoints. Um, this is a wild one. This guy, actually, we brought him up on stage two weeks ago because he's a legend on this show. Can't wait to see a new minute and get a quick interview in with one of the dark forces of the history of this show. Ladies and gentlemen, when I present to you the one and only Ichabod. Wow. This is incredible. Here he is. He's got stuff with him. This is legendary. Ichabod, what's going on? What happened? It's a debacle over here. One more time for Ichabod, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. Hey, everyone. This is crazy or what? A lot of, wow, a lot of you are really surprised right now. They, uh, they think I'm, hey, what the hell is Mick Mars, the guitarist from Motley Crue, doing here on Kill Tony? <laughs> 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 I, uh, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> hey, I just moved recently, and uh, it's a really nice house. It's so fancy. I took a shower, right, and it's mirrors on every wall. And I got in, I scared myself half to death three times in three seconds. Exactly what I told you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, shit. Hey. My Uncle Ron does a lot of crazy shit. One time we were, uh, he takes me to all these, all these shows, right? And after the show, the stars come out to meet me. And I'm like, what the hell is Uncle Ron saying to all these people to get me out right into the show? And oh, I'm out of time. Thank you, everyone. Wow, Ichabod, a legend on this show. Hell yeah. So you, let me guess, you took a bus trip from Las Vegas today. Yeah. How much was the bus trip? A dollar. One dollar this guy is able to find. This is how, no how joke. How is that possible? Were you driving the bus? How is that possible? <laughs> Ichabod, I never get why you take a bus. Can't you just turn into a bat and fly here? <laughs> you creepy like fuck. To. You dead kid rock looking mother oh fucker. My goodness. Wow. It is nice to see the ghost of my favorite groundskeeper here tonight. <laughs> Ichabod, you look better than ever. What have you been eating and drinking lately? I had a cupcake. You had a cupcake today. Yeah. Where'd you get a cupcake from? Where? Oh, my memory is so bad. I bet it I, is, dude. A cupcake's the healthiest was, thing you've eaten in yeah. a long oh, time. I pulled it out of my lunchbox. Yeah. Oh, you had a lunchbox. Look at you. Yeah. Hell yeah. What else was in the lunchbox? Uh, oh, that was it to eat, but it's sitting right Human there. hearts? <laughs> <laughs> So, Ichabod, we were uh, saddened to find out. Yeah, there is a real lunchbox there. That is pretty frightening. Uh, we were saddened to find out about the loss of uh, another Vegas Kill Tony legend, Uncle Ron. Is there anything else in it? Yeah. Oh, okay. What else is in Can the Can you lunchbox? legally show us? Oh, sure. It's a human hand. Go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's just his phone, which is somehow scarier than anything <laughs> yeah. else. Phone I don't know why his phone and charger terrifies me There's more. There's a comb. Tampon. What was that you just pulled out? Is that a little flashlight? A oh, toothbrush. Right. Well, well, you got to have Well, yeah, might as well start now, I guess, you know? I what is that case? What is that leopard case? Oh, it's all the cards. Wow. Oh, all the business cards? I am shocked nice. that you use a toothbrush. Um, <laughs> this is incredible, Ichabod. It's for his shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I love it, Ichabod. I love we love your spirit on this show. You are a wild man. I don't think you've ever really uh, I don't think you've ever really destroyed with your set, but you're always a fun interview. You always tee us up, and uh, you're a big fan of the show. Oh yeah. Any other big breaking news in your life that you want to share with this amazing audience at the world famous comedy store? I mean, you took a fucking long one dollar bus trip today. You might as well get it out of your system. Oh. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I got my raise at the dive bar, so every Labor Day I get to drink a beer while I work. Wow. <laughs> That's your raise. Look at you. Uh, and then, Sometimes uh, it's the simple things in yeah. life. There's been a lot of talk about uh, one time. You told me to bring this up on stage now, so if you want to talk about this one time only show that uh, we were talking about of uh, Kill Ichabod. You're already dead, dude. Who talked oh. about this? Uh, just me and a bunch of other people. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what's... <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but let me ask Tony first. So. Oh, you're asking me if here you can do again. a show in Las Vegas called Kill Ichabod where yeah. you do what we do here, but it's you hosting the show. What the yeah. fuck is going We'd on? We'd like you to be the band, though, if you want to... Oh, I'd love to. I could take a $1 bus trip yeah, out to Vegas. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I absolutely... That sounds like a goddamn dream. I mean, I've been doing all this traveling, but to... Get on a bus filled with other people that took a $1 bus trip from Los yeah. Angeles to Las Vegas and then get to be part of the band on a show in which, you know, I basically created with my brain. How could you turn this down, Tony? I mean, this <laughs> is just the opportunity. Do I get to use your toothbrush if I come out there? You, you use everything in that box. Uh, wow. <laughs> that's wow. great. I need to uh, charge my phone, so I'm excited uh, about that. Here's the thing, though. I feel like you have the most teeth of anybody on that dollar bus, if I had to guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of people that creeped you out on the bus. Any, any wild characters today? Uh, not no, but uh, I did get on the Los Angeles bus. And yeah, saw a few. What did you see? Uh, what did you see? Uh, on there, that bus? there was someone who wanted to bring his trash or something on the bus. He got kicked off, and there was someone who got in an argument. They got kicked off. I'm like, wow, this is pretty fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did your parents name you Ichabod, or is that just a thing you did? No, uh, the locals in Las Vegas started calling me that at the Zombie Apocalypse Bar. Oh. So, oh. And that kind of stuck. <laughs> they started calling it that what after your, he what's started your going. Give, what's your given name? Well, like, what's your name that you were born with? Do you what's remember? Your what's your no, actual? This is the question. You don't is, remember your about The question name. is, what's your actual? Just your first name. Uh, Craig. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, Craig is scarier. Yeah. Craig is, is scarier than Ichabod. Ichabod, you at least know what you get. Ichabod, I'm like, of course. If you sit down and you're like, I'm Craig, I'm like, well, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got bodies so, in your walls. Yeah, so I don't know why. Well, Ichabod, I'm going to tell you right now, straight up, that's a big no to kill Ichabod uh, yeah. in Las Vegas. <laughs> but uh, oh. I do love your spirit, and I love that you had the balls to ask. Let's check in with Annabelle. He looks like the actual Craig from Craig's List. <laughs> hey. There you go. Ichabod, you got lucky tonight. That's so cool that you signed up and yeah. got pulled out of the bucket. Wouldn't have it any other way. We love you, man. We love you on this show. You're a legend. Can I touch the bucket? You want to touch the bucket? This is, yeah. uh, well, yeah. I guess so. Sure. Touch the bucket, Ichabod. Wow, that's really cool. There you go. Yep, you see it? Oh, there you go. Nice. Ichabod, everybody. Okay. Getting a little scary there at the end. What is that microphone? <laughs> there you go. We now have the first ever audience mic in the uh, history of Kill Tony. I hope that like a live rat just crawls out of the bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Pulled another name out. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Jesse Gregg, everyone. Jesse Gregg. Hey! Jesse Gregg. Uh, looks like we got a... Not seeing any movement uh, here. We got a blacklisted. Go. Je no Jesse Gregg. What happened there? It's a goddamn shame. They're probably in the belly room waiting to get called up on a different show. That'll never happen. <laughs> Pulled another name out. How about Adam Sheba? Shiba? Adam Shiba. That corner. Here we go. 
here comes Adam. He's got a good steady pace going. Time for Adam, everybody. What's up, guys? All right, so I'm bald. I'm bald. I'm good with it now. I'm good with it. The ironic thing about me being bald, though, is I really don't like other bald people. You know what I mean? They feel like they know me. And they always say the weirdest things every time they see me. Looks like we got the same haircut. I will murder you where you stand, sir. <laughs> Talk to me like that. Let me switch it up real quick. Fellas. You ever get head so good, you felt like braiding the chick's hair while you're doing it? Like, you deserve some Allen Iverson braids today, you know that? That's it. Appreciate y'all. There you go. In and out with 20 seconds to spare, Adam Sheba. I thought I had it timed out. I, I was a little, little bit off with the time in there. You probably allowed time for laughter to happen right? uh, when you were practicing. <laughs> That happens sometimes on this show. Adam, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Wow. There you seven. go. That's a minute right there. Uh, oh, my God. Seven years. All of it here in Los Angeles? I uh, started in Miami, the improv at Coconut Grove before they opened the one in the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How long have you been in L.A.? Uh, about three years. Three years. Mm-hmm. Wow. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a bellman, so I take luggage up and down at the uh, Dream Hollywood Hotel. Wow, nice. look at yeah. that. How long have you been doing that for? Yeah, there's one person clapping for that. Uh, <laughs> he likes luggage. He likes luggage. Yeah, he loves um, I've been in hospitality for like eight years. Uh-huh. Uh, Bellman at this hotel, they just opened up two and a half years ago, but I've been there since the, since the start. That's cool. How long have you been calling it hospitality? <laughs> but, <laughs> that's kinda, you know, it's kind of what the industry is. But, uh, but yeah, it's fun. It's all right. Pays the bills. Right, right. You ever see anything crazy during your time as a Bellman? Uh, I used to work the overnight shift, uh, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., so obviously uh, they throw a couple parties there. So I've seen people streak through the lobby. Um, people just get fucked up, fight, uh, you know, random stuff like that. Right. What do you do, yeah. for, what do, you do for fun when you're not uh, doing that? Um, let's see. Hiking. Uh, what the fuck is hiking? When did hiking I become an answer hiking. again? Beach. I like to go to the beach, read every now and then, uh, run a comedy room, stuff like that. Nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. How long you been with her? Uh, about two, two and a half years. Where'd you guys meet? Um, it was. Let's see. We met at a Memorial Day party. Um, like a like a cookout. Mm-hmm. Did you hook up that night when you first met her? Nah, nah. I tried, but but it didn't go. It didn't go down like that. So right. as bad as I wanted, respect levels went up a little bit, though. So uh, turns out you yeah, had to put good. in a little more time. Right. More than right. forty seconds. Right. <laughs> Let's check in with Annabelle. Has she ever given you head so good you saw braiding her hair? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have told her. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Let's just say I have a couple sets of braids. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It looks good. It looks good. Look at that. <laughs> What's your living situation, Adam? Uh, girlfriend and I live together. In oh, that's cool. Baldwin, Baldwin what Hills. Did, what does she do for work? Uh, she's a PR rep that places uh, jewelry on like celebrities for red carpet events and stuff like that. Mm, yeah. Very cool. Mm. Very cool. And uh, what ethnicity are you? Uh, black and white. Tasty. <laughs> black and white. <laughs> black dad, white mom? Yes, yes. Black yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they still together? No. No. When did they, uh, when did they separate? How old were you when they separated? I imagine after conception, right? <laughs> <laughs> when did your dad leave? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> man, it was uh, it was a while back. I was I was young. Can't remember the traumatizing memory. Uh, well, maybe. not to bum everybody out. He got he got murdered when I was like eight. So oh, that doesn't bum me out. <laughs> yeah. just, yeah. it's the, it's not. That's actually that's the most interesting thing you've yeah, said. Exactly. <laughs> Thank God we got to the murder. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm glad somebody got killed up here. <laughs> Memorial Day cookouts. Jesus fucking Christ. How did he How did he get it? Yeah. Are uh, you shot? You shot. Okay. Yeah. Do you know why he was shot? Ah, uh, gang violence and uh, he he was a, a pimp and all that stuff. So oh, it just wow. caught up to him. Yeah. All of this is wildly interesting, and yeah. I wish. Yeah. Please talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> I should. No I one should. cares that you're bald. Your dad right. was a fucking awesome guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
You deep. know what I mean? Like, your dad did cool shit. He lived yeah. cool. Yeah. He died cool. Talk yeah. about that. <laughs> Stand between uh, Annabelle and Tim okay. Dillon. Yeah. Okay. So the audience what is your What does your you. mom do? Is she one of his hoes? Yeah, she a uh, I think. I think she, uh, I mean... It was yeah. She had me when she was about thirteen. Uh, she was wow. Oh, shit. Stop owing. Thirteen, Tony, fourteen. Tony, Tony, it's pronounced who's. <laughs> oh, okay. She had you at thirteen. Wow, thirteen. Yeah, I mean, when when uh, when I was now? growing up, I'm thirty two. When I was growing up, uh, she was stripping, but now she's a uh, personal trainer at the gym, so she she got to turn things. She's still younger than you somehow. Yeah, and yeah. she's still. She's still doing stuff at the gym for some side cash. Right. Uh, right. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Works a little extra hard on those squats. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck She's yeah. a squatty thotty. All right. This is good shit. This is the shit. Yeah. 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 I got to say, it's, uh, it's really dope being up here with you guys. I've been, I've been putting the name in the bucket for a minute, so I'm honored to be on this stage with... Uh, with everybody, so you got good presence. Like yeah. I want to listen to, I want to listen to what you say. You have yeah. awesome presence, but if you talked about your fucking awesome family, we'd be right. more invested. Right. Yeah. It's funny. I, I saw Tony at a Popeyes on Sunset because I work. Uh, I work <laughs> of like right over there. You did. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> baking soda. Swords of the Apollo Thirteen. Who's your motherfucking boy? That's goddamn right. right. That's me. And I was going to come up and say hi, it, but he looked so pissed about the chicken sandwich. I was like, you know what? I'm just wait, wait. What do you for mean I was day. pissed about the chicken sandwich? Right. I was in heaven that day. What do you mean I was pissed? I don't know. There, there, there was a there was an or that you were frustrated yeah. with something that was going was on. I so. in, was I in line? You were waiting? in line. I was in line. fucking starving. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? I waited 45 minutes for that fucking chicken sandwich. Yeah. Huh? Huh? I was there with, you might not even know this, but I was there with, uh, I'm gonna, not going to lie, I'm the one that braided Annabelle's hair. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was actually there with Jeremiah Watkins that day. After that sweet, sweet head. That's <laughs> Jeremiah what had no idea about that Popeye's chicken sandwich. And uh, you work, wait, what were you, what, you were there just having lunch? Yeah, I was on lunch break. Right. It was a uh, dream hotel, right? Heck right. yeah. And you got the spicy chicken sandwich that afternoon. Yeah, yeah, all day. Were you behind us or in front of us? I was behind. And you still got one? They ran out right after, uh, right very soon after us. They had to put posters up that said that they ran out. But they you gave got him one. one. I got one. Yeah. yeah. Very good. In right. memory of his father. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. They're like, we're out, sir. You're like, come on. My yeah. dad was murdered when I was a kid. He was yeah. a pimp. They're like, all right, it was one. He, he brought the chicken sandwich to the grave and just <laughs> left it there. <laughs> Poured out some sweet tea. Come on. All right. <laughs> If you can't get laughs out of a, a dead guy, then right, what are we right. doing? Why are we here? Tim Dillon is incorrigible. <laughs> Heck yeah. You just see a black pimp hand come out of the grave and just grab the sandwich and just take it back down. Again. He just slaps the chicken sandwich. <laughs> All right, Adam. Well, so much fun to meet you, man. Congratulations. This is yeah. your first time on the show, Thank and we'll you. see Thank you again you. soon. Thank you. He's on social media at Adam Sheba, all one word, S-C-H-I-E-B-A. How about a hand for the band up here killing it tonight? Brand new songs every single episode. They work their asses off each night practicing before the show. Okay, this looks like fun. I can't remember whether we've ever had this on before or not, but this is exciting. All one word, soccer mom. Soccer mom. Is this real? Wow. Here comes soccer mom, everybody. Hey. Hey. Come on, make some noise for Soccer Mom, everybody. That's my Elizabeth Warren entrance, you guys. That, that says I'm old, but I still have energy. <laughs> hey. Woo. Woo. I am old. Uh, actually, I am old as fuck. <laughs> yep. I just learned that from my kids. <laughs> Turns out, as fuck is a brand new way to say as can be. <laughs> it works for everything. Like you can be hot as fuck or cold as fuck. So versatile. 
personal. <laughs> and it used to be a bad word, but now I can say it anywhere. Like now I can just go into Whole Foods and be all, this place is expensive as fuck. <laughs> wow. Wow. Killer! Stand right over there, right between Jeremiah and Tim there. Stand right over there. Help her out there, Annabelle. Great fucking job. Yeah, yeah. that was incredible. Thank I think you. you're the future of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and the present and the past. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely awesome, soccer mom. Is that what I should call you, soccer mom? We're sticking with that? Okay, I've been putting my name since you guys have been in the belly room. Uh-huh. And this is the first time what? I just I put uh-huh. in soccer mom instead of my name. Wow. I don't know I don't know how that could change anything. What's your actual name? Cheryl. It's just regular you just Cheryl sign up as Cheryl mom. every week. Cheryl wow. Anderson. You're like yeah. the first white woman that had a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been here every Monday for years signing up and you've never well, gotten pulled out of the bucket? On. I'm I'm between here and in Minnesota. Oh, so well, ma- here, maybe I it's the Minnesota part of why uh, <laughs> the bucket and odds. I, I was at the show in Minnesota, too, when you guys were in Minneapolis. And you didn't get pulled there either, no. huh? Well, look at that. Destiny is a funny way of working out. You finally got it, and you absolutely destroyed. Thank you. How long have, uh, how, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Um, about 12 years, but like I waited till my youngest was out of school, so about seven since um, I started. How many kids releases? do you have? Two. Two You kids. ever been with a black guy? <laughs> wow, straight to the meat and potatoes back there. I gotta huh? know. Oh my goodness. Yeah? yeah. Whoa, yeah. you have. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> she found the one in Minnesota, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Jeez Louise. What was that like? Just a date when you were younger or you uh yeah, you we- you, s- you single we now? Dated. No, I'm married 35 years. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. So just, just right. a black eye or no. Was he a pimp? <laughs> My goodness. Notice Great. how her hair is not braided. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> wow. So, 35 years of marriage, what does your husband do? He's an engineer. An engineer. And you've been doing stand up, and he supports you in your endeavors to do that? Yep, yep. Heck yeah. Yep. You, guys, you can stay out as late as you want, babe. Just don't fuck another black guy. <laughs> I think that's Minnesota law, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's law. Unless it's one of the Timberwolves, then uh, <laughs> then it's okay. He, he was a basketball player. He was a basketball player? Wow, look at that. That is incredible. That's something for your Kill Tony bingo cards right there. Uh, <laughs> wow. He was, a, was he a pro basketball player? No. No. He didn't make it to the big leagues, but that's okay. What do you like to do for fun? Um, you know, uh, I just love stand-up. I, I'm out here. I'm taking classes at UCB. Oh, okay. So, All right, cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. I don't even think you need those. You're the funniest yeah. person out of UCB I've ever met. Yeah. So <laughs> I've been out here 12 and a half years. <laughs> yeah, you're great. We're laughing because it's absolutely true. Yeah. You're a monster. You're very aware of what's funny. You're very aware of what's funny about you and your presentation and your perspective. And you absolutely killed up here. I mean, you should. I want to see like a, f- a full set. You're fucking awesome. Thank you. Uh, are you around next Friday? Yeah, this I'd Friday. I'd love to have you at the Ice House at 8:30. Whoa! If you want. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Dreams coming yeah. true. Now, yeah. Now, just as a date, no stand-up. Bye. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is L.A. You I'll pay d- your dues. You start, you know. I'll do blackface. Not face. get hysterical. There you go. From the nice house Thanks. to the ice house. Uh, soccer mom. My goodness gracious. Anything else fun we should know about you before um, we let you go? I, I ate nothing but Olive Garden all last year. Wow. wow. You know, Brian just you came in his pants. already gave you the show. You don't yeah. have to... Well, that goodness. doesn't shock anyone. You you, yeah. you look like you call your tits sweater puppies. <laughs> why, 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 why would she do that? Well, because she's white and she's wearing a sweater. And she's got tits. Jesus, Joy. Wow. I mean, <laughs> someone didn't take a nap today What's after all this What's your favorite travel? thing to get at the Olive Garden? Um, just spaghetti with marinara and steamed veggies. Wow, you Ooh, are a mom. That. Wow. That is a mom dish. Steamed veggies. I just watched Red Band scratch Delete. you off at the ice Delete. house. Delete. <laughs> it's the tour of Italy is the correct answer. There you go. Absolutely. Tour of Italy. That's what I was hoping. Hell yeah. 
Well, Cheryl, I mean, unbelievable performance. Uh, I mean, we absolutely loved you. Please keep signing up, and hopefully this is a change in your bucket luck, and uh, we'll get you back up here again soon. Love to see you in a minute. She's on social media at Cheryl Soccer Mom, all one word. Pretty woman. Heck yeah! Whoa, look at that! Wow, what's that? You know that's a you know that's a UCB character. She's actually 19. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. she's a 19 year old girl. Fucking, it's commitment. I love it. I love it. Make some noise for your next comedian, Frank Uloa. Yolo. Yola. Uloa. Frank. Frankie. Frank. Frank. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Frank Uloa. Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Frank, and people always want to ask what it's like having the name of an angry stepdad. Is it short for something? No, just short-tempered. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I've been told that I look like I would skip a job interview to stand in line for sneakers. (laughs) Uh, I don't party a lot, I don't like to party, and uh, it's not that I can't dance, I just don't see the point. Uh, To me, a dance floor is just like the NBA. Unless you're a black guy or a really flamboyant black guy, (laughs) you're just another white guy on the court. Off the dance floor, I'm Mexican. On the dance floor, I'm a seven-foot Turkish guy who's only there to grab rebounds. (laughs) Stay home. Uh, Being Mexican in L.A. is weird. Everyone just assumes I like the Dodgers. There you go. Frank Uloa. Am I saying that right? Uloa, is that correct? Uloa? Uloa? What is it? Uyoa. Uyoa. Yeah. Oh, perfect. that's sort of weird. Okay. Uyoa. <laughs> Got it. And uh, welcome to the show. Is this your first time on? First time, yeah. Heck yeah. Wow. Welcome, Frank. Welcome, welcome. The, sne- the sneakers thing was killer. Thanks. That was yeah. great, man. Thanks for dressing up tonight for this. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder why people would think you're a Dodger fan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Frank, how long have you been on stand-up? Uh, about 10 months. 10 months. Heck yeah. How old are you? Uh, 29. Look at you. Doing it. What do you do for work? I am... Oh. Why did I forget what I do for a living? I work in a warehouse. I'm a shipping warehouse supervisor. That's why. Seems like a real... This seems like a real parole interview right now. (laughs) Yeah. I am a warehouse... I ship thing. Um, (laughs) How long you been working in the warehouse? About four years. Four years. Heck yeah. What's your living situation? Uh, I still live at home with my mom. You do? That's not it. There's more. <laughs> and my sister. Name uh, them all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Heck yeah. Have you, have you ever had your own place? No, no. No? Yet. No interest in that. Uh, plenty of interest in it. Just haven't saved enough money to get there yet. Right. Wow. Haven't saved enough money yet. Interesting. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What kind of wallet do you have? You have a wallet on you right now? Ah, uh, shit. You want to see what I have for a wallet? Yeah, I do. For oh, a wallet? No. This, is okay. what I, this is where I carry my What idea. the fuck is that? That's a, that's a manila envelope <laughs> yeah, that got shrank. Envelope. <laughs> this that's guy a tiny manila a tiny envelope. tiny manila envelope for a wallet. And I've it, never, in the history <laughs> of the show, I've never asked anybody... Any person pulled out of the bucket. Six and a half years of this show. I've never asked anyone what kind of wallet that they have. I asked this guy, and he pulled out a manila envelope that is big enough to fit. It's also, by the way, torn right down the middle. How long has that been your wallet? just his ID in this fucking wallet. I feel like when Ice says pull it out, they just feel so bad for him they let him go. (laughs) I mean, Holy I mean shit. this is it's just first of all what is what what is in here? It's just a license. Oh, it's just a license. Yeah, no credit card or money to be seen. Okay, wow. Stays, here's what, here's stays the worst part. It's not even a license, it's just an ID. <laughs> oh yeah, it is clearly like a fake ID. <laughs> yeah. 
that you would like get bounced out of any bar yeah. with. California spelt wrong in this. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> well, Sean, okay. Sean Frank, uh, we're going to do something special right now. Yeah. Uh, this is very exciting. This is the first time in the history of this show this has ever happened. But uh, our friends over at Ridge Wallet. Uh, <laughs> The makers of the absolute best wallet. Actually, we all oh, use... I love it so much. We all use Ridge Wallet. It is our actual wallet yep. all the time. We use it on our level. None of us live with our fucking parents. <laughs> uh, so some this could us. start some momentum for you. Is Sean Frank out there? You hear Sean Frank? Sean Frank is uh, one of the heads yeah. of, uh, of the Ridge, the makers of Ridge Wallet. And Here guess what, everybody? You ready for this, my friend? You ready for this, Frank? There's a thousand dollars cash in it. Wow! <laughs> One thousand dollars cash. Is that true? What are we doing here? Oh my God! What's going on at Kill Tony? Your family. Oh, you're is the man. Whoa! Awesome. From our friends over at Ridge Wallet. Whoa! One thousand dollars cash. A whole new level on Kill Tony because we love Ridge Wallet and they love us. There's a thousand dollars cash in there. We all love Ridge Wallet. We use it. I have the titanium black one. It's a front pocket wallet that streamlines everything for you. Thirty thousand five star reviews. Is that good for you? Thirty thousand five star reviews, Frank. Is that good enough for your fucking? Is that better than your fucking Manila on? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lifetime warranty if you love it and free returns if you don't. Uh, it comes in titanium, carbon fiber, aluminum, and over a dozen different styles. And for our listeners, you can get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash killtony. That's ridge.com slash killtony and use the code killtony link in your description. Uh, that is from our friends over at the Ridge, the makers of Ridge I Wallet. Mean, most yeah. of you guys have this shared. Look how big this is. You're sitting on this. Right. Well, you could just have this and have this in your front pockets. There you go. It makes so much sense. There you go. Absolutely. Thousand bucks. Your family is going to stab you in your sleep tonight. <laughs> you are going to wake up bleeding, but it's worth it. You can I, stab him back with the Ridge. It's metal. I assume you're going to buy 400 sweatpants on the way home. <laughs> That's what I... Annabelle? It's also slim enough to fit in your coochie, ladies. <laughs> oh, look at that, Annabelle. You're out of control. It won't rust. Frank, how do you feel about this? Dude, this is awesome. I'm trying not to cry up here. This no, let cool. it happen. Wow. Fucking let cry. Let it cry, it's dude. Really cool. Please, Please cry. Yeah. Please cry. It would, it, would be, it would make it worth it. The people from the Ridge would love that. You guys Please would like cry. that, right? Yeah. Over at the Ridge, he's crying. Cry. Let that let out the tears. You know what? Throw yourself on the floor. You know floor. what? Let's do something fun here. Let's do something fun. Let's do something fun. I got a great idea. I think as soon as he looks at the money, he's gonna start crying. I I I, th I think that we should keep you up here until you physically cry. <laughs> uh, it's a thousand bucks. You say you're almost crying. What are you gonna do with the thousand bucks? What are you gonna do? Uh, what are some plans that you have for it? Get robbed immediately upon leaving. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's how much? Three hundred people know exactly how much money he has. But <laughs> do, you, do you know how much Plan B you could buy with a thousand dollars? You're the first person in the history of the show to ever get a thousand dollars, or any really any money whatsoever. Ever, I mean, really that's, nobody gets paid. That's the most money I've had. Period. In your life? Uh, maybe not in my life altogether, but fuck, at one time. Yeah. In, one, in one room. Oh, now I'm going to cry. That <laughs> is, that is. <laughs> no, it's not, uh, this is an incredible moment in the history of the show. Uh, again, a special shout out to Sean Frank, who uh, came up with this yeah. awesome idea. Rid I mean, you're, you're looking at the, every, literally every single person on this stage uses Ridge Wallet. Yeah. Uh, it's true. Ridge yeah. Wallet's ridged for her pleasure. Wow. She's still... <laughs> Annabelle has a little dirty mind of her yeah. own over there. She, heck yeah. A thousand is a nice night's work. That's a nice night's yeah, work. Yeah, it really it's a nice is. nice work. It's incredible. And plus the wallet, you're killing it. He's I killing mean, this it. is a this is a huge moment in Kill Tony history. Uh, yeah, it's great. I've known Frank for a while. He's always funny. It's really cool to have you have gotten this. This is awesome. Hell yeah! How about that? How Good. about one more time for Frank, everybody? Yeah. Wow. There he goes. Hey, can, Frank, can you at least put the mic stand back yeah. up? I mean, geez, how, how much do we have oh, to take pay it back? Yeah. Take it back. He's already starting to act like a rich guy. <laughs> yeah. He's, just, he's already like, fuck it. I don't need this show. Fuck this place. Tony, can, 
can we He's just literally... say that we knew that we were going to do this today, but the fact that he pulled out that little envelope oh, yeah. as a wallet. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, we knew that we were going to do that for somebody that got pulled out of the bucket. And it, it literally, when I asked him, I'm like, oh, this is a real risk asking what kind of wallet he has. Because maybe he has a cool fucking wallet and something like that. Yeah, that was not that. A... <laughs> Torn. Pe- it was like a magician's prop or something. Yeah. Like I'm going to put your ID in this small yeah. Manila envelope. Now you write your name on the front of it. <laughs> yeah. In no in no world would that ever have been considered a wallet. What he had. Yeah. Stays at hotel once, makes wallet for life. <laughs> How about just one more time a round of applause for the Ridge, everybody? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We absolutely love their products. Our guests love their products. It's always great. Just like with Postmates, it's always fun when you have uh, sponsors that you actually believe in and use and have always wanted since you started a show or a podcast. And uh, they uh, fulfill those dreams for us all the time. So let's keep this fun train moving along. Uh, We have a regular on this show, ladies and gentlemen. We have two of them. They're about to go on right now. Not at the same time. Uh, this first one, a very polarizing figure. This, th- that means these people don't get pulled out of the bucket. They write, have to write and perform a brand new minute every single week. They develop in this amazing farm system known as Kill Tony Regularship. Some of the people have gone on to have uh, big-time representation. Well, both of these guys do, actually, since they've joined the show. And, uh, you know, some of them open for Joe Rogan and have amazing uh, things going on in their lives. These guys are on the uh, up and up. This first guy, you either love him or you hate him. I absolutely love him. Make some noise for the great and powerful William Montgomery. I'm crazy for Here we go. Here we go. William Montgomery. Here he comes, everybody. Live in the flesh, the big red machine himself. Come on, guys. It's the real deal. William Montgomery. Whose dick I gotta suck to get my kids back? I heard that one time I was in court trying to get my kids back. (laughs) Hold on, you're telling me the fucking system's down? That's what I like to say when I call it Papa John's. Let's give it up for Papa John Shatner. (laughs) He was a Marine. Let's give it up for Veterans Day. So uh, I'm pretty sure the best uh, shark weeks were between 93 and 97. A whole lot of chum, a whole lot of boats, a whole lot of cameras, those feeding frenzies. (laughs) That was my best joke of tonight. I thought that was going to get the biggest laugh. It scares me. It did not. It's Veterans Day. My father died on Veterans Day two years ago. William, let's just start. Okay, one more time for William, everybody. Hey. There you go. So, William, I met your... Your father was on this show uh, like eight months ago. So we know your father didn't die two years ago. You tend to lie a lot on stage about things. Yeah, my, bo- my father died two years ago. He was in an escalator accident in Vegas. Um, it was a real nightmare. My aunt was really sad. Ah, because that's his sister. Yes, yes. Ah, very good. Well, welcome, William. <laughs> <laughs> w- William, have you moved out of your place yet? You got kicked out of your old apartment? I have. I'm, I'm currently living in Echo Park. Did, you find, a, did a, you find a good spot for your two grandfather clocks? Yeah, yes, we, I was able to transport them in a van. We found out last week that William has two grandfather clocks. Uh, have you gained? What, have, what did you gain? About ten pounds since last week? I've What's actu- going on here, William? What's going on with you? I've actually lost twenty pounds. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean. No, I think I've gained weight. I'm on the ego diet. Ego? Is that a, are you talking about the waffles? Yes, I eat a box of egos every morning. <laughs> You're supposed to let go of them. Then I do some cardio. What kind of cardio do you do? Jumping jacks. <laughs> How many jumping jacks do you do? 200. I think really? you need apple what, what, jacks. What, why don't you do 200 jumping jacks for us right now? How many yeah. you would like to see that, huh? Here we go. He's taking off the backpack. He has oh, Crocs wow. with no socks, ladies and gentlemen. Hats off to William Montgomery. This is... 
<laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's already slowing down. Sixteen, seventeen. Keep the pace. Wow, this is very impressive. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Reality sets in after 21 jumping jacks. I bet that's the most jumping jacks ever done in camo Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> William, we, <laughs> <laughs> William, we called your bluff there, and uh, it doesn't seem like you really do 200 jumping jacks. I don't. I'm sort of out of breath. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm horribly on edge. Why? Why are you on edge? What's going on in your life? What's happening? I caught uh, my roommates at the new place having sex the other day. Oh, yeah? Uh, I have a camera installed in their bedroom. You have a camera installed in their bedroom? Yeah, I'm a big uh, uh, camera type of person. I have two cameras in their bedroom. A, a voyeur? You have two cameras in their bed. We only have two cameras on this yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. What? We're a podcast watched around the world. Yeah, two cameras in there. Uh, they were get having having sex. What kind of sex were they having? Is uh, it a boy and a girl? It was a boy and a girl. Was um, he braiding her hair? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was it missionary? <laughs> it was a nightmare. I slipped in the bathtub. I was watching it on my, my iPad in the bathtub. <laughs> what? I started getting excited. I slipped. I you were standing in the bathtub? With an iPad? I was. On an iPad? You're yes, the only yes. person with a bathtub that doesn't take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> you were standing. Was there water in the bath? Yeah, it was sort of uh, uh, lukewarm. There's, there's not great... How else is he going to wash the Crocs? You know what right. I mean? So you got to... Exactly. Did you get those two Panasonic ones I recommended? Who's, who just said that? I, you know who he is. It was a red band. It was me. Guys, don't fight. I sent you that link. Yeah, I mean, are you really going to fuck this up? This is probably Guys, one of my stop, best sets. Stop. <laughs> and I think you're, you're going to pull man. that bullshit? I think you're wrong. This was Guys, definitely not your best set. Whoa. This was my wow. best Guys, set. probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Now, this honestly. was my best fucking set I've had. Tim, don't you agree? I love the Shark Week bit. Yeah, <laughs> I really like a lot of your Shark Week material. This yeah. was good. I mean, I'm still partial to the, the that World War II Hitler mouse joke, but I do like the Shark Week thing. I love all of your sets always, William. You're such an enigma. I mean, just so deliberate, calculated, yet uh, full of complete shit at the same time. Yeah. It's just a beautiful... So, someone in the crowd just said, wink. <laughs> You know how William winks at the audience members? Oh, they're they requesting. They ask for it. They're requesting the classics every once in a while. Oh, he <laughs> must be doing it. This is where this is where he goes around the audience and gives people personalized. He just winks. squirted. This is incredible. I get, it always works. The crowd absolutely loves it. Whoa! He just gave oh! one to Mike Meany. Wow. I've never seen him give one to one of the guests Holy before. Holy shit! Mike, I, just, I just came. Wow, Mike yeah. came in his pants. I think they yelled out, weak, like he's weak. Okay, all right. We already did that part of the thing. One in the wink, two in the stink for William. <laughs> that is incredible. Trademark winking. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Are you wearing a Dodgers shirt? I am. You look like Justin Turner if he was found dead in a river. That's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he really does. Just floating down the river. That's right, because he slipped watching people have sex on his <laughs> iPad. <laughs> well, William, another very fun cool. set. We absolutely love every single time that you're on. You're a huge part of the Kill Tony family, literally getting bigger and bigger every week. Uh, <laughs> oh, you just got that one. <laughs> How about one more time for William Montgomery, everybody? There he goes. We have a... Uh, We also have another regular on this show. Every single week, he writes and performs a brand new minute, and uh, he, he sometimes makes fun of me, and I make fun of him, and every once in a while, if the guest uh, comes up... Oh, wow. Wow, it appears as if though we... Uh, it, it appears as if though there is a, a man that got lost. A naked man. Oh, wow, he's still lost. This is... Uh, 
Wow, look at that. Wow, what is Joel? Uh, the great Ari Shafir is here, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready for his uh, getting ready for his 10:30 show. He is headlining this room, running his brand new hour. If anyone uh, that might that's probably sold out, but if you guys are in, any of you guys are uh, interested for more comedy after this, catch Ari. And live, we it, just got banned from YouTube. Live in this room. Well, we I'm glad it wasn't my now, fault this time. You said that. I mean, just why, don't, why don't you just end it, Brian? If you're gonna, I've literally never seen somebody's dick more often than Ari's. It is it's incredible. Even in like all the porn I've watched, where you've just seen, you know what I mean? It's still this is still the most, and it's it's shocking. Wow. One more time. Okay, for, chill out, everybody. One more time for Ari Shafir, yeah, everybody. Ari. There he is. And uh, we have another regular on the show. He writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. Make some noise for the great David Lucas, everybody. Here we go, David Lucas. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to follow that. <laughs> Those fucking nursing home balls. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. My granddaddy got a better nutsack than that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've seen babies hung lower than that, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ, nigga. I, God damn. <sighs> All right. Uh, there's been a lot of kidnappings lately. <laughs> adult nappings uh, and my, my friend was concerned about you know all the women being kidnapped and she weighs 300 pounds she's like they really out here snatching a lot of women I'm like bitch you ain't got shit to worry about <laughs> until they drive around with a forklift and an 18 wheeler <laughs> The only white van that's gonna pull next to you is gonna be filled with ice cream. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boom. Smash City again. This fucking guy. An absolute unstoppable force. The great David Lucas, great. everybody. Yeah. Fucking awesome, man. Hell yeah. Goddamn absolute professional. Jesus. <laughs> what, what's going on? What'd you see? These over niggas. There? <laughs> is that what you call the Southern Bells? <laughs> You're from Atlanta, Georgia. You're I'm from the South. That, yeah, yeah. Our white women look better than that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I actually believe that. <laughs> My good, how about that one back there? What do you think of that? I was back there sucking Ari's dick. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, very good. Shocking. Jesus Christ. That's what, there you go. So, David, uh, how's life going, man? Good, man. I'm the, uh, the newest door guy at the comedy store. Whoa, yeah. look at that. Yeah. Signing the on. Wow, you're I the first door guy who could actually be a door. Wow, Joel. nigga, you in a wig? You can't say shit right yeah. now. Oh, <laughs> we are graced by the presence of iceberg here tonight. Uh, that's when Joelberg runs a little bit cold. How you doing back there, buddy? You okay? <laughs> I'm ready to get naked at any point. Well, don't nope. do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, I, know, I know the live stream is poor, nigga. Well, we're back. It's oh, all okay. good. Anyway, yeah. congratulations, David. That's a big deal. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's an interesting thing. A lot of people uh, that are in the know might be thinking, you know, wow, uh, you know, because uh, it's a position which a lot of people start in and this and yeah. that, but it's also a great, it's, it's almost like. It's a political like, move. Absolutely, 100%. You get in, you get spots. The talent coordinator yeah. sees you for the monster that you are because if you're an employee here, you perform with those guys and they get to see you. you exactly. You're exposed. And plus, Another great thing about it, and we learned this with the great Allie Makovsky, former regular here, is she was doing it while, you know, opening for Joe Rogan and doing many great things, kicking off her podcast, so many things. She's got a full-blown career. Yeah. And she came in, swooped in, did the job, and now everybody knows uh, she's respected by every other employee yeah, yeah. here. You know what I mean? You get in, and it's, uh, it's like being a New York Yankee. You know what I mean? It's, uh, and, the, and the Brothers in Cursive podcast is doing well, I think. Red Band told us the first episode streamed at like 12,000 listens or however that shit yeah, is. Yeah, something like 12, that. 12,000 streams, whatever it's Absolutely. called. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. 
Brothers yeah, yeah. in Cursive, a Brothers podcast Cursive. with you and William Montgomery on the yeah. Death Squad Network. Hell Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. What, have you, what what else has been going on in life? Anything crazy? Man, I happened? got like four tickets due this month, so the job came right in the nick of time. Nigga. I have no idea what you just said. It's yeah. <laughs> all one word. I don't know if you, you know this or not. I don't, I, I don't understand driving? what you just said. And I uh, I eat Popeye's chicken sandwiches, and I still don't, <laughs> I still don't know what you said. Were, were they no, parking I said, tickets? I, I said I got four tickets, driving tickets, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh you're getting yeah. speeding tickets? Hell yeah, My man. My goodness. I'm ready to get rid of this car, man. What kind of car is it? A Challenger, man. It's a headache. Nice. Wow. Yeah. It's Look definitely the car's fault, for sure. Yeah. Nah, that motherfucker too fast, man. I, you, it's it's no driving slow in that bitch. It's All right. Well, we know we know we know you have a heavy All foot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming, Tony. Man. Heck yeah. I thought you did great, man. I'll always support you, whether your knees and hips eventually don't. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right. It's not right. This motherfucker up here looking like Timmy Turner and shit <laughs> from the Fairly Eye Parents. You look like Medea goes into diabetic shock. That's how you look like. How about that? Uh, man, if you don't get your hidden character from Tony Hawk Pro Skater looking ass up out of here. <laughs> and here we go. Hell Holy yeah, shit. Hell yeah, looking like a Justin Bieber stand in. Nigga, shut your ass <laughs> up. Oh, thank you. That's actually very nice. You of do you. stand up? Yeah, oh, buddy. come on, dude. Uh, this motherfucker look like he on a soap opera or some shit, you know? This is all great stuff you're saying. I'm days, saying all this. Days of our gay lives and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what what else fuck. you got, motherfucker? You no, fucking... come on. Settle down, no, David. I think settle we're down. Good. This, this, is one, this motherfucker got a Spencer credit card, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got, bitch? Let's hear it. Your fly's unzipped, but I wasn't going to tell you that. You want to um, do it? No, we're good, uh, man. Like, that was, that was who you married to? A wife. This motherfucker married to Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> 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 they, they said if they said if I go at you, you'll come back. Uh, yeah, fast, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I love it. This so is why he gets tickets. See. That's what he does to the cops. <laughs> <laughs> shit, yeah. You put me over, Keep motherfucker! All right, breaking him down. This Chris Farley brother right here. Yeah. Oh uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Chris Farley. Chris Farley actually has a real brother. Yeah, yeah. Was a comedian. That that this motherfucker cool. looked like he fell asleep in a tanning bed. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> the Irish race has had enough. Yeah. Did you take a shower and some poison ivy, nigga? What the fuck? This motherfucker is broken out, nigga. You? you look Don't like. Don't be mad. I have a shower. <laughs> you need. You need some prescription soap. Nigga. I do need. I do need a lot of prescriptions. Up here looking like a. Uh, a white Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I love Uncle Phil. I love Uncle Phil. Yeah, yeah. I ain't part of with my you, childhood. Bitch. You look like a bottle of olive oil, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. David Lucas is on fire right David. Nigga, Hey, boy, you look like a hotel towel, nigga. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> Why you tell these white boys to come at me, man? I didn't. And I, didn't. I didn't say anything. I swear to God, on the I contrary, I warned oh, them. I warned them beforehand. Oh, I yeah, say man. William's crazy. He's a big liar. He might try to say that he did something with you in the past. When David Lucas, I go the African American. He. <laughs> that's exactly, that's exactly what be honest. Tony he's said. black. Yeah, yeah. He definitely. This specified. motherfucker eat marshmallows before he go to sleep. <laughs> 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 David, <laughs> David, leave Jan Mulaney alone. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, What's your come name? on. I got to start learning these white comics' names. God damn. Yeah. yeah you're yeah. doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> you're, doing a, you're doing just fine, David. I know, man. You don't, Fuck need, it. you don't need to learn shit. No, I know Tony, man. That's all I need to know. That's true. Absolutely That's right. true. Absolutely. And you... And you look great. I, what this nigga talking about? Who guy. said that? Oh, he's trying to get you booked at the ice house. Yeah, oh, that motherfucker trying to like, help you. Oh, I've been booked at the ice house. Yeah, yeah fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> trying to fucking help him. You think I, he needs that shit? No, Did, talk shit about me so I can give you like 10 more jokes. No. <laughs> no, now, now it's all love. I love you. You're oh, great. Fuck you. <laughs> You're my best friend. Hey, whatever, nigga. <laughs> David Lucas, you did it again. Unbelievable <laughs> performance. Nothing but fucking hellfire and hey, brimstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The great David Lucas, everybody. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Hey, and if y'all niggas want to help me pay these tickets, dollar sign David Lucas funny out this bitch. Yeah. Did you just give out your Venmo? That's my cash app. Your cash app. What is dollar it? Dollar sign David Lucas funny. Dollar sign David Lucas funny. Hell all one yeah. word. Help there you go. Some help tickets. him pay his tickets. Yeah, there you yeah, go, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Heck yeah. 
Oh, I see what he was doing there. He was talking about getting tickets. I see him. He's a very smart man. I like his script. Very smart, very calculated. Damn, he smells good, though. He's gonna. He, of course, he fucking. I know what he's doing. He's saying that he got a bunch of tickets, hoping that the Ridge Wallet guys had another thousand bucks to give out. <laughs> Smart. See what's going on, David Not Lucas. Stupid. Smart. Everything's very calculated. Bucket one last time. What do you guys yeah. think? This is it, though. We got to get out of here. They got to start seating the room for Ari Shafir running his brand new hour. Okay. This looks like a new name. I think I'd remember this one. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Nick Torchon. Nick Torchon. Nope. All right. Let's go back right. again, see what happens here. Make some noise for Nick Gutierrez. Nick Gutierrez. <laughs> Nothing but Nick's here. Nick at night. Live on Kill Tony to close the show. It's Nick Gutierrez. It's your final comedian of the night. One more time for Nick Gutierrez. Yeah, fuck Nick Torchant. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, I don't know if it's gay. If I slept in the arms of a fireman, I was three days old. Um, getting old sucks because you find out your parents are Trump supporters. Um, I don't have a lot of regrets in life, but I do regret the amount of Spike TV I watched when I was 14. <laughs> that, that's a fact. Um, being fat, that sucks too. Um, happened a couple years ago, just let it go. Uh, I had a lot of stuff uh, memorized, and I'm trying to remember it right now. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Thank you. Um, man, I thought I had this one. Thought I had it in the bag. But thank you, guys. That's it. All right. All good. All good. Yeah. Nick Gutierrez. At least some of these people. At least some of these people can admit when things aren't going correctly. It's very. It was like a, It was adorable. Thank yeah. you. It was very adorable. That first joke about the firefighter is the cutest joke I've ever heard. Yeah. I felt good about it. I felt good about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, You're let's not get hysterical. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, welcome to the show, Nick. This is your first time on. First time. I'd remember a face like that. Look at those big fucking eyes Thanks. and all that shit going on. Make me blush. I love it. I, I guess so. It was, your face was already discolored before that. But, yeah. Uh, very sweaty. Very sweaty right now. I love it. I love it. Do you ever blank? No. Wow. This is scary. I actually, uh, I set the unofficial world record for longest staring contest. Are you serious? It was two hours long. Are you serious? There's witnesses, but Jeremiah. not a Are you fucking person. serious? I had a two-hour staring contest. I just uncovered that about you after yep. 15 seconds yeah. of staring directly at you? People blink up here a lot. Yeah. I notice he's just staring right at me. Uh, uh. That's, that's, ex that's, I'm not even lying. Two hours you went without blinking. Long. Yep. Wow. Holy fucking shit. That's incredible. Wow. Oh, of course. <laughs> Always competitive how did, Jeremiah. How did you learn that you had that skill? This. How did you find out that you can you could still talk? Well, yeah. 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 Um, it just kind of happened over time. Oh, Co wow. Coming out yeah. to your parents. Yeah. Um, I just got in trouble a lot, and it just kind of threw people off. Uh-huh. Uh this so is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is exactly how it went for two hours. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? So I did it for about six months, and then I took uh, about two and a half years off. <laughs> Can Rich Wallet give him $1,000 to blink? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm kind of scared. Wow. So this is incredible. And what made you take a two and a half year long break? Uh, you know, just life gets in the way sometimes, and uh, I just got a little bit busy. But now I kind of figured that I'd be funny again, and uh, you know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Um, uh, so wh when you say that you got busy with life, like what did you get busy doing? Uh, school Jeremiah got pretty blinked. hard, um, so I was taking a lot of time with that. And then you Jeremiah, know, did you just blink? Yeah, you just blinked, Jeremiah. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're yeah. on the other side. Of I can blank. keep going. I can keep going. Jeremiah's blinked like four times. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. In that case, over here, you won, Nick. You won. Yeah, Let's keep the interview know. going Thank over you. here. Very impressive. Wow. I, I just want to blink for the rest of the interview. If that's cool. What's that? I'll just hold it for the end. It's okay. Absolutely. You, you own that. me now. Do what you to. will with me. Oh, yeah. shit. You get to put it in her wherever. 
So two and a half years, what do you, what do you mean you got busy? What did you get busy doing? Sorry, yeah. Uh, school got pretty intense. I got my degree in economics, so I just kind of lost time. Oh, cool. How old are you? Uh, I'll be 24 on Sunday. 24. What do you do uh, for work? I work at a fast food place right now. What fast? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, in and out. Yeah, literally. Wow, look at that. Wow. Joel did something uh, sort of correct here tonight. Yeah. You could take me <laughs> animal style. I, uh, I started two and a half <laughs> years ago, so. You started what? Two and a half years ago. Heck yeah, and you got in the game. Exactly. And then you can't get out. I'll, yep. tell you, I'll tell you what I liked about your set. A lot of times with newer comedians, it's hard. You know, they, they're very long setups. And you're like, I'm going to keep a very short setup. And then you're like, I'll make it so short, I won't even put a punchline in. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you just kept it. It was efficient. I tried going a uh, jab, 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 and then nothing really landed. You so have an economics degree? You're working in and out? Yeah, right? Well, I'm, I'm job hunting right now. Okay. Yeah. College is bullshit. Don't go. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Words of wisdom. That's what I should have done. Words of wisdom for the guy that uh, <laughs> hasn't gotten a laugh school. all night tonight. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but just got back from Australia and New York and is a high school dropout. Suck it, Tony. <laughs> I know. Uh, if it wasn't for Tony, I mean, you wouldn't have gone to all those Shut places. up, Brian. I don't want to hear about it. All right, you boys behave now. Okay. It's fun. This is what makes it fun. This way, when Joel gets on a hot Joelberg streak and does the unthinkable, that's what makes it special. It's nights like this in which we find out that you're human and inhuman at the same time. It's a great thing. Nick, tell us something interesting about you that we'd be shocked to know. Man, um, I actually shit my pants recently. I oh, was, yes. Uh, I was go. 16. I was 16. You were 16 years yeah. old. Wait, how old yeah. are you now? He's 23. 24. Yeah, it's eight years ago, bro. Well, I, recently is like not too too far. It's yeah. much. It's definitely not eight years ago. <laughs> Why did you shit yourself? Uh, so I was playing wiffle ball with some friends, and oh. I was running down my street, and it slid out my shorts. Every fucking thing you say is like from a children's book. It's yeah. Like every fucking word out of his mouth is like, and then a big rabbit came and yeah. helped me clean it up. That's, That's pretty much exactly what okay, happened. Okay, Brian, right. very good. What's there something that we should get at In-N-Out that, that we don't currently get? Whole grilled onions. What Whole grilled onions. Interesting. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. What about the Napoleon shake? Is that all right or is that? Uh, I'm more of a half vanilla, half strawberry. All right. It's called Neapolitan, honey. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> not, not a huge chocolate guy, I guess. Not a huge chocolate guy? Nah, not really. Oh, what's, black your, uh, what's your love life like? Uh, I got our relationship like last month. Yeah, what happened there? How long were you in the relationship for to start? Uh, it was like nine months. Yeah, and then how, why did it end? I uh, just kind of. He never blinked during sex. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was it. Can you imagine the horror in that woman's eyes who just thought yeah. it was like she was watching Get Out? You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really bad. What look. what happened? Yeah, I just ended it. I just wasn't really feeling in it anymore. Why? Why? Why weren't you feeling it? What was it? Just give us some details. He clearly killed her, but <laughs> he's like, I wasn't feeling it anymore. And well, the L.A. River was right there. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. doesn't feel anything anymore. Yeah, she feels actually. nothing. Oh. You know, nine months goes by and you start questioning everything. Yeah, uh, it gets a little bit long, getting older. It's like, like once you cross the year mark, it gets pretty serious. What did she so. taste like? Oh, oh my God, Napo <laughs> Napoleon. <laughs> He's like like a whole grilled onion. Yeah, the the chopped chilies. Yeah, nice. Wow. So is there is there a particular type of a uh, woman that you're into, like a shape, size, blonde, brunette? Yeah, you know, tall girls. Tall, tall girls. Tall girls. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, look out! Ah. Heck yeah. What would you? Uh, I'll ask you the same question I asked someone else earlier tonight. What would you do uh, with a beautiful Annabelle here if you had a, if you had a chance? What would be your first move? What would It'd you be the first time I'd be a little spoon. Uh huh. What would be your first move with Annabelle? Oh, first bedroom? move? Yeah. Um. Sucker dick. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Took the words out. You know, of my mouth. recently I had my first period. <laughs> recently. <laughs> Nick, any other special skills or talents or anything of your entire life that you've ever done or Man, accomplished? Uh, big locker room guy on my soccer team for a long time. What do you mean big locker room guy? What does that guy? mean? Like, uh, I never played. I played about three minutes a game, and it was to give this guy, Brandon, some rest for some water. And then I just, I just had to not screw it up. Oh, wow. So what do you mean by big lot? You would just hang out in the lot. They wouldn't even let you sit uh, on the bench. Yeah, I didn't even really sit on the. I brought the Gatorade a lot, high fived. Uh, oh it was a good time. Oh, my God. 
Everything's a f- is any of it real? It all feels. Yeah, like I mean, honestly, I'll movie. be here. I'll be here on the twenty third for Storcade. I don't know. Something feels fake about a lot of it. Yeah, something's a little bit. Shady, He's like, I found it? a ring and Sorry, I had man. to drop it off in a mountain. It was weird. <laughs> well, Nick, uh, maybe we'll find out more about you next time. Sign up yeah. again. There he goes, Thank Nick you. Gutierrez. Thank He's, you. Like, He's the A train on social media. Look at this drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt coming at you right here. He does it every single episode. He did it again tonight. Look at that. Look what he drew while you all sat there doing less than that. nothing. Look at that. Beautiful. I look thin. The new Kill nice. Tony the Book, Volumes 2 and 3. Volume 3 has Volumes 1 Thank and 2 you. in it. I highly recommend getting uh, Volumes 1 and 2 together. It's an unbelievable book. Kill Tony the Book. It has three. We have three books now. We're the only podcast with three books. How about a hand for the great Mike Feeney, everybody? Come on. He didn't have to take shots at David Lucas, but he fucking mustered his guts and did. Gave us a good little fucking roast show there. Uh, Mike has a lot of fun stuff going on. Make sure you check out his brand new album. It's available absolutely everywhere. And it is, without a doubt, known as... Rage Against the Routine. The Irish Goodbye Podcast. He's on social media at... I am Mike Feeney, all one word, and uh, and uh, check him out. We love you, Mike. How about that? How about a hand for Tim Dillon, everybody? Come on. Fort Worth this weekend, the Tim Dillon Show. Tim J. Dillon on Instagram and Twitter, and all those tickets are available at timdillancomedy.com. How about one more time for the great Annabelle Jeremiah Watkins over there, ladies and gentlemen. Huntington Beach, St. Louis, San Diego, Kansas City, Chicago, and Detroit, all available at jeremiahwatkins.com. Check out Jeremiah Wonders, Jeremiah Stand Up on uh, social media, Jeremiah uh, Watkins on YouTube. Anything else, Jeremiah? We're in a quick one here. Uh, yeah, pick up Mike Feeney's new album. It debuted at number one on iTunes. Give it up there for There you Mike go. Feeney. We already plugged that. Very good. I knew you'd find a way to waste our time. How about a hand for Chroma Chris, everybody? Chroma, what do you think about tonight's episode? Oh, Tony, it was unbelievable. Oh, hey, one uh, for also, one. <laughs> also, uh, on November 23rd, me and Joel and Pat Reagan's band, The Baby Boys, have an album release party at the Silver Lake Lounge. Very good. How about one more time for uh, the one and only Joel Burke, Joel Jimenez tonight? He's on Suicide Watch. He's sponsored by Ludwig. He uh, is mostly sorry on social media. Anything else, Joel? Yeah, shout out to Ridge Wallet, Caveman Coffee, LA Speedway. I love Mike Feeney. I love Tim Dillon. Guys, shout out to my my buddies from 10th Planet HQ right here, my jujitsu homies. Uh, show anyway, your, back to you. Show your support to uh, to the show and Ridge Wall. It's yes, amazing you, Ridge gift Wallet. tonight by going to ridge.com slash kill Tony. Use the code kill Tony and uh, get yourself an awesome Ridge Wallet or get it as uh, buy your whole family gifts for Christmas. It's absolutely awesome. And again, it's a product that we believe in that we use. Audience, we love you guys. Thank you so much Thanks for coming lot, guys. out. We'll see you soon. Next week, Eric Griffin and Stevie Weeby, everybody. Oh,